Lightning is one of nature's most spectacular displays, illuminating the sky in brilliant flashes of light and color. In the United States, it strikes the ground more than 30 million times a year, any one of them carrying an unbelievable amount of energy. However, all this power is not evenly distributed across the country. There is one spot that seems to summon this incredible phenomenon more than anywhere else, the state of Florida in the southeastern United States. In today's video, we are going to reveal the secrets behind this strange lightning hotspot. Why does Florida get so much lightning? To understand why Florida gets so much lightning, we must first understand its geography. The state of Florida is a peninsula surrounded on three sides by water the Atlantic Ocean to the east, the Florida Strait to the south, and the Gulf of Mexico to the west. In the summertime, all three of these bodies of water heat up and release lots of moisture into the air. This hot and humid tropical air is unstable and wants to rise through the atmosphere. The more unstable this warm buoyant air is, the more forcefully that air is going to want to rise. As the air rises, the water within it begins to condense into clouds and releases energy, causing the air to rise even more until it hits a point in the atmosphere where it can no longer rise called the tropopause. A thunderstorm is born. These conditions that are conducive to thunderstorms are present for a large portion of the year here in Florida, with some spots seeing more than 100 days of thunderstorms each year. However, this doesn't fully explain why all these storms seem to just magically happen here. There's one more ingredient we are missing. Every morning when the sun rises, it causes an interesting physical phenomena to occur called a sea breeze. The sea breeze is a thermally generated wind that forms due to the different rates of heating between water and land. The land heats up faster in the daytime than the water does, resulting in the air above the land becoming less dense than the air above the water. This difference in pressure causes air from the water to start flowing inland as a front. One of the most important ingredients in the formation of thunderstorms is a source of lift to get the warm, moist air near the surface to start rising. As the sea breeze front starts to move inland, it forces the warm, moist air in front of it upward like a mini cold front. This provides a source of lift for the unstable air along the front and numerous thunderstorms begin to form. Looking at a radar reflectivity scan, you can see all the thunderstorms forming along the sea breeze boundary as it pushes inland. These sea breezes occur so regularly that it is common for areas along the coast to get thunderstorms nearly every day at around the same time of day, usually in the early afternoon. Sometimes, if the conditions are just right, the sea breezes from both the east and west coast of the state can smash into each other. These sea breeze collisions can violently force the air between them upward, generating much more intense thunderstorms that are capable of generating severe weather and even short-lived tornadoes, along with some truly spectacular displays of lightning. Whenever this happens near sunset, it's truly something incredible to witness. The entire horizon will fill with brilliant flashes of light and color. One of those magic moments here in Florida, we got some big complex going up right at, you know, right at sunset. And now look at this, now that it's, I think astronomical twilight now, this is incredible. Look at all this lightning. Under these complexes of storms is an excellent place to watch for some of the most erratic and beautiful lightning strikes Florida has to offer.
on clear, moonless nights, keep a watchful eye over the tops of distant storms for dim red flashes of light. These red discharges are called sprites and belong to a strange group of phenomena known as transient luminous events. Welcome to Florida in July and August. It's way too hot outside, but uh, that does mean we get to see that coming in over there, which is always nice. So it's not too bad. I'm getting a little sunburnt out here, but uh, I think it'll be worth it. 